to me, but he's got the right to apply at least anyway. 75 bucks, get it together. You're coming back March 7th at 9. Go downstairs, you fill out the form. Because if you don't do it within at least a week from today, then you won't have the, the uh, information from PTI. But I'm not waiving 75 bucks. I'm not doing it. You're certainly able to work. You're a young guy. Get a better job than that. And even on that job, you can come up with 75 hours. So Judge, if you look at these applications, then I if you, if you look at the, uh, the letter, when you add up what he's bringing in and his outgo, he has 340 a month. There's 100 in rent. He can get a better job, Mr. Gizzi. I'm not waiving 75 hours. Can he? Why don't you, Judge, I think there's a constitutional problem when it's waived by other judges. I'm not doing it, okay? I lift the Constitution is suspended in this courtroom for that purpose. And he, that? Constitution is suspended in this courtroom for that purpose. And he, that? Constitution is suspended in this courtroom for that purpose. Constitution is suspended in this courtroom for that purpose. And he, that? Can he apply okay. today and the fee can be paid? Uh, I'm not waiving it. Can he apply today? I don't know if they'll do that. Will they have the it downstairs? And have the fee paid. Tell him as a favor to me, I, since the guy is here, he can take the application, but then he's got to come up with the money within a week or so. Yeah. I understand that. He's got to pay 75 bucks. I understand. That, that's can, he not have, can he pay it? I've had even uh, judges in this county do that. Pay it by the next court date so that. It's paid. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. All right. It's paid. Well, let him go downstairs. Who's got a seat, Gina? Get Kowalski up. Is he here? I'll call down my brother. You were checking on me for him. Because Debbie Quattrone's here. Kowalski. Is he downstairs? Check on that. All right, Mr. Goose. You've got, you, you got to give them notices. March 7th, 9 o'clock, final status. We cut off. <coughs> you got them? Mr. Dempsey, you got that? Mr. Dempsey? Yes. You have that? You have it? Yes, I do. March 7th, 9 o'clock. Is he downstairs, Ruth? Now, I would also like if you could clarify as well, well how do you define cooperative? You said you spoke to Dr. Paul. And you I'm just said to me that you cooperated. You gave him answers to his questions. That's it. I don't know what else you did. There was a non consent because of religious. I did not see the report. You just said to me you answered questions. That to me means you at least cooperated with the interview. If he says in his report that that's not true, that's fine. I don't have the report. Okay. I object as a misrepresentation of facts on your behalf. What? I would also I ask didn't again. misrepresent anything. I'm just telling you what he told me. Answer to the question. Don't talk over me. Okay. He said. You answered questions. Okay, thank you. And I said to him, are you going to submit a report? And he said, yes. That was the extent of the conversation. Do you understand that? I understand English. Okay, well, that's good, because I wasn't sure you did. Okay? That was Anything very rude. Else? Yes. Else? I don't really care if you think it's rude. Well, the court is to believe in being rude. So the judicial code of me, conduct says that like, you're courteous, that you should really? be courteous. Well, you know what? I make up my own rules sometimes. And sometimes I need to do that because I deal with people like yourself who have no idea what rules are. Okay, got anything else to say? Yes. So if something, if something is brought to your attention that may have been done by another judge, which may uh, uh, imply some sort of illicit behavior or order, do you have any uh, legal obligation to override what he No, does? no, I didn't ask you that. Can I finish, please? Do you have any legal obligation to address it, to review it? No. If it's already been decided upon, I do not. It's what's called the law of the case. He makes a decision. Only the appellate division can change it. Okay, that, that's not what's written in your judicial codes of conduct. Really, that's fine. Guess what? You know what? I disagree with you. That's enough, fine. I, enough of the legal lesson. You don't have to agree with I'll me, only on with your oath of office, which you keep really? violating for some well, reason. Well, that's, that's your opinion also, Mr. Uh, Assange. Assange. Okay. Mr. Assange. 
Okay. All right, Mr. Vinicius. The 21st. No, You've been very helpful today. today. If you say you need to so much further. more, I will hold you in contempt and fine you $500, which if you don't pay, you'll be back from where you came from across the street in the Bergen County Jail. Understand that? Because I don't like your disrespect at all. Out. The 21st of February at 9 o'clock. Mr. Ralph, anything to add? No, Judge. I believe everything regarding that Judge Trajan matter matters on the record before that fifth floor deputy. It certainly is. All right. Stop. People can lose sight of that. This has to do with a little baby who's left in the garage, which they decided to not feed or clothe or do anything. Pretty good. Next. Uh